Well, given International Women's Day yesterday, me and my mum were just looking and we saw this on Facebook a couple of days ago, I think. Margaret Hodges is a, a very famous woman in the Labour Party. Interesting to hear from someone that's actually made it that far and how she's gone about it. I was in practice 40 odd years ago and they still wouldn't let women go into courts with trousers, there were no toilets. We've come on a little bit since then. There is a lot of minor prejudice. I think women are definitely put down from an earlier age as uh, less ambitious because they don't think they can achieve as much as men can. They don't think you know brilliance is something that's always associated with males rather than females and especially in employment and things like that. Women expect to stay with the family rather than go into work. I'm going to talk about what I see as the changes that have happened over that professional lifetime but also the challenges for the future. I don't think feminism is uh, there, there was a time when people were even reluctant to call themselves feminists. That we've got over a little, but it's really important. There is an urgency for women to remain active feminists to ensure fairness and equality in our society. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2017 Christabel Pankhurst Lecture. Would you please join me in welcoming Dame Margaret Hodge. So, I became a feminist, actually, in the late 60s. We were hunting for a, a, a piece of work, and my boss there rang me up and said to me, listen, come in in your shortest skirts. This was the late 60s, too. So, of course, I came in in trousers. Um, and that also was a spur to my... So I was, went into feminism because of the discrimination. Now, of course, that's got much better, but there still is massive discrimination in the labour market. There may be the legal framework, but the practicality is a lot of discrimination in the labour market. Actually, what we should be talking about is how we enable women to participate in a very active way in the workplace. In the workplace. And really, the challenge, I think, for women is to grasp those opportunities with all the energy, vigour and commitment that you can. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. And the things I do, I think really matter. Thank you. It was fantastic. Very inspiring. Dame Margaret's someone that I've known about in politics for a long time and it was really interesting to hear her speak. The way she deals with the constituents, that you listen. And I think that that's what m males need to do, actually listen more, stop the talking and actually listen to what other people are saying. What I took from it is there's hope. There's hope for older people, there's hope for young women, there's hope for um, the men, to, there's hope and that's all, and um, she spoke to me personally.